PCS company was started in 1960, so about 62 years ago. And PCS stands for pins, uh, cores, and sleeves, which are fundamental pieces of an injection molding tool. Uh, it was founded by a couple of guys, a uh, family, and uh, evolved over the years and went through some ownership changes. About 25 years ago, we got into manufacturing of mold bases and we manufacture those, those housings or the mold bases at our location in Frazier. Uh, we have nine uh, CNC machines that we use to uh, machine these mold bases to custom designs as dictated by customers. So our, our customers will be uh, predominantly the, the, the mold makers, the people that actually assemble an injection molding tool. They in turn sell it to the folks that produce the parts, that, that squeeze the plastic into the, uh, into the tools. I think what we're proudest of at PCS is, you know, over the last five to six years, the progression that we've made in the manufacturing process. So we've had some significant investments in the business. Uh, five of our machines are um, five to six years old at, at the most. Uh, we've had significant productivity improvements over the course of the past two years. Uh, things like scrap reduction, spindle utilization, uh, utilizing new and different tools to drive productivity in the process. The other thing that we are doing and we're working aggressively on is to automate some of our upfront processes. We get a custom design from a tool shop, we dump it into a portal, and then using shape recognition technology, we're able to generate an, an estimate of uh, what's the bill of materials, how long is it gonna take us to machine these, these plates, et cetera, et cetera. As well, um, we're on the cusp of making inroads in our scheduling activity. Everything that we're focused on is driving productivity, whether it's the front end on estimating, whether it's the front end on programming, or whether it's out in the shop. Historically, we've been very focused on the mold makers, the people that produce the tools, and all of the products that we manufacture and sell have been, focused, for the most part, focused on them. We're now starting to build the product portfolio to support the people that actually mold the products. One of the things that we've recently done is created our own training program. So it's leveraging Macomb Community College and on-site training with our people. And so it's a two-year program that, that we've developed and we're in the process of, of uh, trying to generate some interest uh, for people to join that program. My goal is to continue to grow the business in the mold-based sector. Uh, I think there's market share for us out there and to improve you know, n not only uh, the, the size of the business, but the performance of the business with newer, better equipment, newer, better technologies and techniques.